Have you ever faced a problem and thought there must be a better way? Today we'll look at the story of Joe. He's one of the co-founders of Airbnb, who was faced with a problem of back and bum pain caused by sitting for way too long. This is what he did to move from problem to a solution. Hi, if you want to receive weekly practice sales tips and stories, please subscribe to my channel. Let me help you win more sales. In the year 2000, Eight years before founding Airbnb, Joe was a 19-year-old design student at the Rhode Island School of Design. As part of the course, Joe had to complete what they called a critique session, where all the students sat on dirty, hard, hard floor in a cold drawing studio for eight hours, while rest of the students critique their work one by one. Now, besides ending the session with very, very sore bum and back, all the students had a perfect bum print on their pants from the charcoal dust and the ink on the floor. Basically, every quit session equated to ruined dreams as well as sore backs and bums. So, Joe decided there must be a better way. So he went back to his dorm room, took out his sketchbook and drew out his first product prototype. But then, uh, and then he also did some informal market research by asking fellow students, would you use something like this? What color would you like? How much would you pay for it? Eventually, he came out with a foam prototype, but couldn't think of what to do next. Then, in 2005, the year of his graduation, he got his chance. The school held a competition for students to submit original designs as gifts for the graduating class of 800 students. So Joe entered and his quit buns prototype won. But then he faced a lot of setbacks. One. School would pay for the manufacturing, but he had no way of getting his designs made. Number two, Joe had exactly one month between winning the competition and actually producing it for graduation day. Three, all the experts he spoke to, professors, manufacturers, told him that they need at least eight weeks instead of the four weeks that he had. As the deadline drew closer, Joe found himself lying on the campus grass and, and thinking to himself, what have I not thought of yet? And then a light bulb moment. There was a metal workshop on campus. Maybe they will know somebody that knows somebody that can help. So through this campus contact, Joe found a local man with a machine, um, machine shop that is willing and able to help him create the metal mold. And then they work with another business that could manufacture the 800 foams for the uh, quick buns. So here are my questions to you. First, all the past students had dirty pants, sore backs and bumps, but nobody saw the opportunity. What do you think that Joe did that was a bit different to the rest? Secondly, Joe took action and won the competition, but still faced a mountain of impossibilities. If that was you, would you carry on or would you simply give up? Now, what stands out for me in Joe's story is how he approached challenges and problems. Joe looked for the solutions, he took actions and was relentless in overcoming obstacles. Needless to say, the same mentality served him well when he started Airbnb. Hi, thanks for watching. Before you go, it would really, really help if you subscribe to my channel so I can keep you updated with weekly practice sales tips and stories. Let me help you win more sales.